Hello. Well said, Margie Clark. The screenshot at the front of the video uh, is a tweet. Margie Clark tweeted sometime in May, uh, was it? Uh, regarding third world immigration into Southern Ireland, the Emerald Isle as it's known, soon to become the Ebony Isle by the look of it. And you're quite right, Miss Clark, in highlighting Irish culture now under threat and evaporating in front of their very eyes. You're quite right. You're quite right. How many people are in Southern Ireland? Just under 5 million, I think, right? It won't take long to destroy Ireland, right? And even, even if the Africans and Middle Easterners that you mentioned, Miss Clark, adopted the Irish culture and started dancing to Irish jigs, it still wouldn't be the same, would it? It wouldn't be Irish, it wouldn't be Celtic, it wouldn't be Gaelic, it, it wouldn't be Irish culture, would it? Of course. Culture, Irish culture, let's take as an example, it's all about race, it's about being white Celts. It's not about being black uh, African Irish or Middle Eastern Irish or whatever, and no disrespect to those people heading to the Emerald Isle or heading to Britain, I'd come here, right, if we had a, a chance to do so from the hell holes that they've left. Of course you would, you can't blame them and nor do I. We know who's to blame, but that's another video in itself. So you're quite right, Miss Clark in highlighting this, that the unique, no, beautiful, unique Irish culture is under threat. Where is Jerry Adams? Sinn Féin, the provost! Where are they opposing this invasion and colonisation? More of a serious threat to Ireland than the Brits could ever be, right? Trust me, right? It is. It is a threat that is going to destroy that unique culture, that unique people. Because once it's gone, there's no, um, it's gone. There's no turning back the clock. You, you can't change things then. It's gone. The same's been happening here in England, and you're quite uh, right in saying so, Miss Clark, but the uh, beauty of England so far was that if you didn't live in London, Birmingham or Bradford, then, you know, it was someone else's problem. But that's now not the case because it's spreading all over the country and all over the Western white world, isn't it? Of course it is, right? Look at what's happened to Kensington here in Liverpool. It's been balkanised. It's been destroyed. A once proud white working class community now has been turned into a dump crime infested it really is rat infested right it really is shocking what those uh whoever is responsible have done to kensington at the very very least in my opinion they should be put in jail right but again that's another video in itself so you're quite right miss clark in highlighting uh the threat uh, Irish, the beautiful, unique Irish culture now faces. What I find strange, though, is how come you haven't been attacked by the mass media or the left? Not that I want you to, but I believe the reason you haven't is because they don't want to highlight someone like yourself that's got uh, a big following, a big support, um, and it could obviously influence people, you know, to your way of thinking, and they don't want that. Do you know how uh, I found your tweet, how I uh, come across your tweet. I was at a loose end yesterday. I said, I'll uh, put a video on or I'll try and find something that'll cheer me up. Uh, I said, I tell you what, I'll watch Letter to Brezhnev. Brilliant film, Miss Clark, right? Really brilliant. Proper scouse humour. Uh, but anyway, uh, and I couldn't, uh, I looked on YouTube, I couldn't find the whole uh, movie, just there, uh, little clips of it. So I started searching and searching, then I found your Twitter account, and lo and behold, I found uh, the tweet that I've just um, screenshotted, and it's at the front of the video, and I went, whoa, that is very, very good. 10 out of 10, Miss Clark, in case you thought, uh, how was this, what was this guy doing reading my Twitter account? Well, that, that's the reason why, you know. Uh, but like I've said, the unique, beautiful, unique Irish culture is now under threat. Because 
as I've said, the four or five million so people that are in Ireland, that's not going to take that long to destroy. I'll leave a clip at the end as to what happened to Bradford. All right, you would think you would believe the video you're about to watch was filmed in Tehran or somewhere, right? Like I've said, at one time you could escape it if you didn't live in those areas, that it was someone else's problem. But it's all over Liverpool now, even in Kirby, Miss Clark, right? Not a screen here where I live. That's now being invaded. Now, I don't blame these people. I'm not, I have nothing against them. It's nothing to do with race hate. It's about preserving our way of life, our unique way of life. It's going to go. And remember, once the boot's on the other foot, it's payback time. You do all know that, don't you? Of course you do. And, you know, champagne socialists and you other socialists, you hypocrites and cowards that don't live in these areas. I live, you live on the waterfront in a million pound apartment and you condemn racism and you support you know, refugees, immigration, multiculturalism. You want to go and practice what you preach and move to these diverse areas. Some of the, go and move to one of the Islamic republics around Bradistan, Burnley, Old and Blackburn. Go and move there if you love it that much. You're all hypocrites, but thank God you've got someone with a bit of guts that's put her thoughts down on, on Twitter, that what she thinks um, regarding uh, the threat, the beautiful, unique Irish culture is now facing 10 out of 10. Miss Clark, I applaud you. Why the left haven't attacked you? That's the only reason I can think of. Nor do I want them to, right? Nor do I want them to, but I believe times are changing now. And there'll be more Margie Clarks. I'm going to try and find letters uh, to Brezhnev now, Miss Clark. I'm going to do my best to try and find it on the internet. I need to watch it. Okay, thank you.